guys, welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my content. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing the Saint Laurent Medium College Bag because actually one of my viewers mentioned that they saw it right back there on my shelf and they wanted me to do a video about it. So here I am doing that video. Please know that I really try to read every single one of your comments and even respond to every one of your comments so if you are interested in any video want to see me do any video i definitely keep that in mind so let me know i want all of us to feel comfortable here on my channel and i have mine in the black with the brushed silver hardware and i really love this color combination so i wanted to talk to you first about some of the features of the bag we'll also talk about pricing we'll do some mod shots and also what fits inside so if you're interested in those continue watching and let's get started first with the features so they do say it's 80 percent calfskin leather it does look like it's a bit of a treated leather and you can kind of even see the grains within the leather there so the front is chevron the back is chevron the bottom along with the sides are a more smooth leather one thing I really love about this handbag is because it seems to have a little bit of a treated leather to it, I don't worry so much about watermarks or even if I get something on it. As a matter of fact, when I purchased this handbag, I did purchase it pre-loved and it had a little bit of like white watermarks on the bottom and I was able just to take a warm cloth and wipe it right off so I feel like the leather itself is great for this handbag. Other features of this bag, it does have the top handle there, it has the back pocket, it does have the flap that magnetically opens, oh and let's not miss the YSL there on the front for Saint Laurent. You have your pocket, so your front pocket there, your back pocket, a very small pocket right back there, and then a divider there that zips open. Also the handbag comes with the removable strap and it is a chain strap like so it buckles and unbuckles there and it even has the like very cute saint laurent let me see if i can get it to focus written across there you may not be able to see it well but there's saint laurent written across there and then also on the strap you have saint laurent written there on the leather strap so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys with the strap attached what it looks like. So of course you have the leather strap on top and then that's how it connects to your handbag. There are the features of the bag. Let's go ahead and move on to price. This handbag is $2,490. So I purchased this handbag July of 2020 for $1,525 and that is just a huge price difference of the price or the retail price of this handbag so for me that was very 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 important and if you guys haven't watched my videos already on the handbags that i recommend you purchase directly from the boutique versus the one i suggest you purchase pre-loved this one definitely falls on the handbags i would recommend purchasing pre-loved and that's because you can find them in excellent condition for that price because i did purchase this excellent condition and it was $1,525 at that time. Now I know that with the years over the years, inflation is definitely a thing. So it's always important on my channel for me to look at what's available now. So I did go ahead and look on the Fashion File website so that I can let you guys know what the current pre-loved market prices are for these handbags in excellent condition. And my goal of this channel is to hope you find the you in fashion and hopefully find something that you relate to here so i always try to like i said introduce what's currently on the market what you can currently purchase these handbags for to make it hopefully a little bit more relatable to you so let's go ahead and look on the fashion file website and see what they have so on the fashion file website currently they have this handbag in the light coal for one thousand 
$640. And that is still to me just a huge price difference from the retail price we just discussed. Now it is considered excellent condition, so it does have a little bit of wear. And what they notate the most is they say faint corner wear. So on my handbag, it doesn't have very much, but I do see in the photos that they talk about on the front corners, it looks like is where the handbag had the most wear. And it looks like the right side even more so than the left. So I'll put those images up there. And then they also talked about a little bit of wear to the flap. And you can even see with mine, mine has a little bit of scratches, a little bit of wear to the flap, but I feel like that all comes in how you are opening it, especially since you have to use your nails sometimes to get it open. I could definitely see getting some scratches. So that to me was not a make it or break it for that price difference, especially if you like that light coal color. Now, if you're really interested in the black or I love St. Laurent's brown colors that they do too, I would just wait it out on the website. Keep an eye on what Fashion Bell gets in because they get things in so much that you could look for the color, the hardware combination that you want and still find this handbag, I feel like for a really great price. So now we're going to go ahead and move into the mod shots. So for the mod shots, I did a single strap, which for me being four feet, 11 inches, you guys know I'm pretty petite. It's a little bit longer and hits lower than I typically would wear. So I don't wear it single strap a lot. To be honest, I wear it the most top handle and I love it that way. I feel like it is super, super cute. I will wear a top handle either with a detachable shoulder strap attached or I'll sometimes take it off if I know I'm not going to be wanting to wear it during the day. But I usually do like the option for it to be there because when we move on to the crossbody, I feel like you it's a perfect time to be able to have your hands free. I feel like for a crossbody bag, even with me being petite, it's still, I can definitely still wear it as a crossbody and I don't feel like it looks overly large or overly bulky on my frame. I feel that it does sit maybe a little bit lower than typically people would wear a crossbody handbag. But again, I'm used to things being petite fitting a little bit lower on me and I feel like overall this one isn't too shabby. So we are going to go ahead and move into the what fits inside this handbag. So I did grab my multi pochette again and I'm using the smallest pouch to use in this handbag what fits inside. So one of the viewers did mention that they wanted me to go ahead and stuff my pochette before putting it in or at least having it filled and I thought that was great advice. I didn't even think about it but the more you know right so I did go ahead and pre-fill my pouch there so I'm just gonna go ahead and zip that up and then there is that in there zip and as you can see still plenty of room in the front and the back and I'm going to try to put something in that back pocket now so I'm going to take my coin purse and I'm going to put that right there in the back so now we have those in there because one of my concerns when I originally was purchasing this handbag is how functional is that back pocket truly when you have something in the front one. So pretty functional. You can definitely fit something back there. And then we are going to go ahead and put my wallet. That actually fits pretty comfortably right there in the back too along with the coin purse. And then we are going to go ahead and put my contact solution right there on top because if you guys have ever worn contacts, you know you can't go anywhere without your contact case and your solution because I promise you it always happens to me that no matter where I'm out, my contacts are always going to bother me. And then when I don't have it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot it at home. What happens if my eyes are irritated? So contact lens wearers, if you can relate, definitely let me know on the comments below. But this is it completely closed with all of those items in there. And then I usually put my phone, you guys know I film with my phone, so I couldn't Put it in there currently but i usually slip it right back there and it fits great right back there and it keeps me from having to go in and out of the bag to get to my cell phone which let's be honest i need usually more so than anything else inside of this bag so i love that they have that back pocket there that you can really use for your phone to be able to put it in that back pocket for easier access 
So as far as pros for this handbag, I love the multifunctionality. I love the top handle that it has along with the strap for a crossbody. I love that the strap is detachable so you can choose whether you even want it on there throughout the day or not. I would say that the college bag definitely is a more casual bag. So if you're looking to dress it up, you definitely can, but I just love it seen with a pair of jeans and a cute top. And I feel like it matches perfectly with that style. I love that it has the back pocket there. I feel like it makes getting your cell phone in and out so easy, so comfortable. And I also really, really love that it's not difficult to maintain. I love that I don't worry too much about putting this down places. I love that it wipes away I articles pretty comfortably that even if I get on it with just like a warm cloth, I just really, really, really like those features about the handbag. Now cons. I, as I told you, purchased this pre-loved, and one thing that I didn't consider at the time was the handles here. So if you can kind of see, it's actually sealed there in the front, and after a couple months of purchasing this handbag, this actually started to separate. So I had to take it to like a leather specialist to reseal that area there, and they said it was actually very common with Saint Laurent bags. I assume because of just the wear and tear of going with the handle back and forth, moving it back and forth, that started to separate there. But it was a pretty easy fix, but definitely something I wanted to mention to you guys to be conscious of. So maybe not so much of a con, but something to be more conscious of depending on what you have on your hands, how much lotion you wear on your hands, and how much friction you provide to that top handle. Just know to watch out for that edge there to make sure there's no separation and that the leather's not starting to peel off from there. Now, as far as the other con for this handbag, and I know this is a funny one, but it's actually the magnetic closure for me because as you know, it does, it's very, very easy to kind of magnetize clothes. You heard it pop there. I didn't even have to look at it, but to get it back open, you have to give a pretty good forceful pull. And I'm so terrified that if I'm opening it and closing it, opening it and closing it, that eventually this may pull away from the flap. And I am just terrified that like, if I continue to open, close it, open and close it a lot with that force that I have to use to open it, that it may start to separate. Again, I don't carry this as an everyday handbag. So I'm really curious if you guys carry this as an everyday handbag, if you've experienced any type of separation from the opening and closing of the bag due to the magnetic closure. I would be really, really, really curious about that. But overall, I feel like it's a great handbag. I feel like you could even carry this as an everyday handbag, no problems. It hand it holds quite a bit of things within here. I feel like it gives you functionality because of the top handle and the crossbody strap. I feel like the color, the black is beautiful, but I also feel like Saint Laurent makes other great colors like the browns, I think are absolutely gorgeous with the gold hardware. So overall, pretty solid bag, especially when you're looking at the price point that you can find it on the pre-loved market. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.